be testing calcium hardness. Why do we want calcium in the water? All the surfaces, whether it's plaster or some of the newer exposed aggregate surfaces in pools, have a lot of cement in there. So they, they're considered cementitious surfaces. Water in, can be very aggressive and take that cement out. If we supply enough calcium to the water, it is much less aggressive. So we want about 200 parts per million. Two to 400 parts is certainly acceptable. So let's test. We fill the vial to the 25 milliliter mark and reagent number 10, we put 20 drops in. Swirl it around. Five drops of the reagent number 11, and it's a very thick reagent, so it'll take some swirling to get it mixed up. This is a titration test, just like total alkalinity. We start off with a nice red color. We're going to titrate it till it goes blue. Each drop is 10 parts per million, so we're looking for 20 to 30 drops. I'll put them in five at a time. Ten drops. Fifteen drops. And twenty drops. And we now have our wonderful blue color. Twenty drops times ten is two hundred parts per million calcium hardness. A perfect amount. 